Well, 2018, April 5th, about to kick off Bear Wars. Going on a coastal brown bear hunt with my buddy Jonah, or Jonah's Alaskan Outfitters, and I'm trying to get everything packed up, ready. I'm super excited um, to bring Bear Wars. That bear is pretty rough. Keep pushing even though it hurts. I won't wait another minute. No, I won't. I won't wait another minute. No, I won't. Yeah. I won't wait another minute. No, I won't. Bear down. One shot, one kill. That was all in here, fam. One of the hardest parts about hunting Alaska is getting the time off that's needed. Time away from work, time away from family. Oftentimes, brown bear hunts can last nine days to two weeks. Just landed in Anchorage. I'm gonna grab my bags and go meet Jonah. Looks like the penguin made it. Now we gotta go see if the rifle made it. Jonah's a humble killer. He was born in Montana, um, moved to Alaska at a young age. He's a phenomenal bow hunter, weighing in at 120 pounds, five foot eight. He is a killer. Um, Jonah's a great, great guy. He's a phenomenal pilot and very, very knowledgeable when it comes to doll sheep, brown bears, bears, moose, and all things Alaska. Lunch today, day one. Getting ready to head out after we eat lunch. Yeah! Woo! Getting ready to go here. We just had some lunch. I'm gonna head out our first day and fly. See if we can't find some bears. Got all this camera equipment charged. Got the cameras here. Packs ready to go. Jonah making some last minute preparations. So. How are you feeling today, Jonah, after 12 hours of sleep? Fresh. Okay, so the strategy of this hunt was to do a lot of flying. Um, some of this country is not accessible via anything else, so. A hunter has to do a lot of flying, land, wait till the next day, and then pursue the bear. So the objective here was to locate a shooter brown bear, a mature boar, um, a boar to take out of the population that perhaps is older, is you know preventing cubs from growing up, as you know big boars can be cub killers, sow killers, and camp on him and then pursue him the following day. Got all the camera equipment charging up. Luckily we got an inverter here. All the stuff drying out. There's my bunk. Oh, gonna go out, see if we can find some bears. Um, kinda tired, got a little uh, freaking air sick, so I'm gonna take some Dramamine. Hopefully I get feeling better. Had a little cold too, but anyway, there's eight, nine feet of snow here. and We're just cruising. Looking for brownies, big brownies. Saw two yesterday. 
Um, eight, eight and a half footers, saw Sal and Cubs. Definitely nothing we want to take or pursue. So we're just going to keep hunting and uh, try to stay warm and stay safe. So it's going to be a good day. Day two, start of day number two. Found us a bear, so we're setting up camp. Stomping up a spot. Set up the Hilleberg. It's gonna be a cold one in the snow. What are those? I don't know, but they're good. Johnson's teriyaki sausage sticks. <laughs> we're gonna eat like kings tonight. Set in the tent. Always got to keep the airplane safe. Bring it in a snow anchor. Slide down our plane. Now, you have to build an ice anchor with an airplane. It's just a safe measure so that if torrential winds or storms come in that you don't wreck your airplane and your airplane is your transportation back to civilization. Like, like concrete. Plane safe and big winds. Give us a ride home. And that's how you build a snow anchor. Jonah just tried to question my manhood on how to swing an axe. Well, there was no question. <laughs> there was no question, he says. Big bear spotted. We're gonna sleep on him. This is our snowy shelter. Camping out in the Hilleberg tonight. Bear 30 tomorrow. Hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully we can find him, huh? Yeah, he ought to be around. You get going early while the snow's hard. Yeah. Just having a few mountain houses here in the tent. And Dinner of champions. Dinner of champions, baby. Jonah thinks I'm gonna freeze tonight my enlightened equipment quilt. He's he's betting on it. Yep. We'll see. High probability. He says you've never slept on an ice cube before. <laughs> <laughs> so we're sleeping on a giant ice cube. How many feet of snow do you think? There's probably six feet of snow. Six feet of snow underneath us? So. If not, I'll just snuggle him. He said he'd turn his into a blanket. It got cold, so. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> we found a big bear, but someone else had more or less beat us to it, so. Um, gonna hit it hard again tomorrow. I'll hopefully, we'll get on that bear again. Or... So, I had some time to kill this morning, and uh, I was gonna practice shooting with sunglasses and just some trigger pulls. Just so. Uh, when the moment comes and you know a lot of guys go on brown bear hunts and take nine days before they even kill a brown bear so 
take several trips. I just want to be ready, you know, when the opportunity presents itself. So I'm just hanging out here in the cabin and I'm going to get ready to head to the mountains and I just wanted to practice some trigger pulls so I can be ready. stretch a bullet out 655 just want to be confident and shot pretty well so <clears throat> dealing with sit lay down and know that all your training um, it works um, so at any rate um, I just want to be ready for brown bear I know that when I find that one that is the one the mature boar that um, I want to be able to kill him efficiently and I don't want him to get away. There's a lot of guys that have brown bears get up, run away. I just want to be dialed in. I want to be focused. I want to chamber another round and shoot. So I'm hope. Here's the hoping that um, it all comes together. No, this is not a granola Quaker Oats commercial. I'm excited. I, I hope we can find a bear. I hope we can camp on him. And I hope today, tomorrow is the day that it all comes together. Bear Wars um, predator management area and it more or less is there's a lot of bear um, now that they've started hunting the moose populations have been coming back so what happens is these bears come out of their dens and um, you just go and kill moose some of them will just kill 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 and they're not able to eat them right away because their digestive tracts are not yet prepared from the long hibernation so it's a, it's a cycle of life, it's a cycle of nature, and I'm glad that I get to be a part of it. And I'm a part of nature too. A lot of people say, don't interfere with nature, blah, blah, blah. I am a part of nature. Um, so, anyway, um, stay tuned. She drinks it up, don't she? Yeah. cold sleep last night but it's a morning of day four we camped on this bear last night we're gonna go after him so <clears throat> it's cold it's windy uh, hopefully he's a shooter it's hard to tell but we're gonna go get a closer look uh, put the smack down on him so hopefully we can capture it all on film So it's hard to tell when you're flying over in the air whether a bear is a mature boar. Uh, there's indications, you know, body size, head size, ears on the side of its head, man earisms, but ultimately you don't know until you land and 
to go to pursue the bear. So it's just the gamble and the risk that you take. You potentially risk harvesting a bear at all should your hunt go down to the wire. Chilling the spot of the bear down there. Picked up a good spot. It looks like he's digging a hole or something. At any rate, we're just figuring out what we're going to do. See you shoot? Didn't get to look at his head. His body's good. I better give the tripod back to Jonas. Jonah's scared of guns. Well, it's because our muzzle, or our hunters aren't man enough to shoot a gun without a muzzle break. <laughs> there we go. Jonah and I sitting on this bear 330 yards trying to determine how good of a bear it is. It might be just good enough since we're already this far down the hill. Sleeping behind the tree. Hmm. Bear needs to get up so we can take a better look at him. Look right here. What's that? Look, can you see better now? He is pretty rubbed. Yeah. That's your call. They're so cool. Yeah, fun to watch. So ultimately, I was looking for that upper age class. Um, this bear just wasn't it. He was also rubbed. Now, rubbing what ha is what happens when they come out of the den. They just want that hot fur off them. So they just rub, 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 rub. And it leaves indents and indentations and even get down to the bear's skin once in a while. Well, a little update for you. That bear's pretty rubbed. 
we ended up passing him, so now we've got to climb all the way to the top of this thing. Disappointment. It wasn't about the size of the bear. It was just he was super, super, super rubbed. So here's to climbing out of here. I'm pulling out of this hole for the last couple of hours, so snowshoeing like crazy. Day number five. Today's the day we're gonna land on the bear we kill. We'll just have a feeling. So, sunshine today. Well, it's a little cloudy. Might make it a little tricky for tracking, but uh, day number five, headed out. We're gonna camp on a big old boar. Camping on a big old brown, well, we don't know what it is. It's tracks in the snow that led to a hole. We assume there's a brown bear in there and we assume he's big. And we assume he has hair also. We don't want a rubbed out brown bear. So we're just camped out in here, getting ready to eat some dinner. Well, we camped on this bear and it's a nice day today. Jonah made him some coffee. An experimental mountain house. I'm pretty excited about it. With some tortillas. Cholesterol free. What do you think about this bear? I'm feeling lucky. We're think get him. Think he's, he's do you think he's still going to be outside of his hole? And B, do you think he'll come out of his hole? <laughs> or do you think he's gone? I think he's still there. I don't think we're gonna get him. How far did he go, dude? About 10 miles. Walk, he's tired. He slept all winter, walked a marathon, and built a new house. <laughs> so he should be there for a little while. Hopefully he just comes out now. Yep. It's a nice day. Here I am in my Snuggie. As Jonah calls it. It's a lighting equipment quilt and it's awesome. He's jealous. Exactly what I would bring to sleep on an ice cube. <laughs> Whoa, my hand's right there. Mm -hmm. Well. Hopefully Mr. Bear's there. Here's where his hole is. So, so far we haven't seen a sign of him. Jonas and I, <laughs> he's out there glassing. <laughs> he decided to pick up his glasses for the video. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> we've been waiting on this bear all day. Hasn't come out of his den. We think he's still in there. It's the only video I've really taken today. Just because, uh, hmm, we've just been sitting here in the snow, so. I think he's still glassing, too. Anyway. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? At least I haven't been snoring all day like you. <laughs> <laughs> I may have taken a couple naps today. We're waiting on this bear. We're going to give him half a day tomorrow at least and I don't know the waiting game I guess well it's time to go home decided to pass on a few brown bear but uh it's a fun trip I had an amazing time with Jonah and being able to see this totally different ecosystem and these snow capped mountains and these brown bears in these Cliff, snowy cliffy elements it, it's just crazy and I just feel so blessed that I had the opportunity to even go out here and see some of these brown bears and not all hunts end in a punch tag and this is a perfect example I will be back I will be back